Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad 2008, problem number 1. Find all functions f from the field of real numbers into itself, satisfying the double inequality, namely f of x plus y is less than or equal f of x plus f of y, and that is less than or equal x plus y for all real numbers x and y. So my hints for this problem, first of all, let's set, you should set x and y to be zero and deduce something interesting. Then set only y equals zero, x is arbitrary. Then set y equals minus x. And finally, the most crucial step, uh, think about can f of x zero be less than x zero for some constant x0 for some number x0. So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I hope that you've managed to solve it. First of all, as I suggested, first of all, let's set x and y to be 0. Then we get the following. f of 0 is less than 2 times f of 0 is less than 0. And let's look. The first inequality, in fact, says that f of 0 is greater than or equal 0, while the second inequality says that f of 0 is less than or equal 0. And that can only mean one thing, namely, f of 0 must be equal to 0 for both of these inequalities to be satisfied. Okay. So now let's set only y to be 0. And we get the following. f of x is less than f of x plus f of 0. By now we know that f of 0 is 0. So that is less than or equal x. Well, the first inequality doesn't say anything, to be honest, but the second inequality does. Namely, that for every real number x, f of x is less than x. Okay, now it's something. And finally, let's set y equals minus x. And then we get the following. Well, if we set y equal minus x, on the left-hand side we have f of 0, which is 0. 0 is less than f of x plus f of minus x. And on the right-hand side, we also have 0. Well, for this to be satisfied, that means that for all real numbers, f of x equals minus f of minus x. So in other words, our function must be odd. Okay. And now, the final step. By now, we know that f of x is always less than or equal x. The final thing to think about is, can this inequality be strict? Because if it can't, then we have our answer, nam namely f of x equals x. But the only problem is, can this inequality, this one, can it be strict? So can, can f of x sub 0 be strictly less than x0 for some, so some argument x0? Well, it can't. Because if it, if, it, if it were to be true, if it were true, that would mean the following. We know that f of x0, we know that f of x0 can be written as minus f of minus x0 is less than x0. And that would mean that f of x0 is strictly greater than minus x0. And if you look closely, this is against, if I call this, 
condition asterisk, this is exactly against the condition asterisk, which is satisfied by, by every real number x. It's against it's against asterisk. And that can mean only one thing. Finally, that means that for every real number x, f of x must be equal to x. There cannot be strict inequality for any x. And here is our answer. Well, it's also it's always good to verify. So let's do verification. Verification. Well, so we wish to verify if f of x plus y is less than f of x plus f of y is less than x plus y. But it's clearly visible that it is. Because here we have x plus y, here we have x plus y, here we have x plus y. So, it's true. So our 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 problem has only one solution, the only solution is f of x equals x, the only function. Okay, so I hope that you've uh, learned something new this time, that you enjoyed my video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.